Alright, so uh, this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising monthly tarot reading February uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys are uh, interested into getting into getting in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check out the description down below, and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website. So that being said, moving to the Virgo reading, uh, this is going to be an eight card reading, and the very first one, which represents the topic of your month here, Virgo, is going to be the Death card. Followed by the second one, which stands as the energies supporting the topic of the month here, we do have the uh, Justice one. <clears throat> Afterwards is going to be the uh, challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the month, and that's uh, for what it seems is going to be the Knight of uh, Wands. Uh, followed by the fourth card here, which stands as the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy uh, throughout the month and you should, frankly, looking at the card, we do have uh, the uh, star card. Followed by the fifth one, which represents how other people are gonna take on you, what kind of an impression you are gonna leave into uh, your social circle, friends and families, um, uh, co-workers, beloved people, etc., etc. We do have uh, the uh, Empress card, followed by the next one, which is uh, what uh, is going to help your long-term goal and what is going to drastically improve your circumstances here throughout the month of February, we have the King of Wands. Next one, um, <clears throat> it stands as what is going to hurt your circumstances and what is going to hurt your long-term goal here. We have the Five of Wands. And the final card that stands as the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you for throughout the month here, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so uh, it's a pretty big one as a month here on the uh, most important positions, which are as follow the uh, situation, the energy supporting it and the gifts and the blessings, uh, we have Major Arcana. And uh, the very first two here, which uh, stands as the topic and the uh, energy supporting the topic. That will be a month where a lot of things are going to, uh, where a lot of things which are in flux, in flux, excuse me, uh, they are going to uh, start changing themselves or in a certain way they're gonna start, start um, leaving up their space and allowing that space to be um, substitute it with things that are now yet to be unfold moving forward into the future or in other words said you know you're going to leave the old and clear up a path for the newness to take place and to sprinkle with life uh, which from another standpoint it kind of points that throughout this month or if I have to translate translate it throughout this month things uh, um, um, enterprises endeavors people if you will that doesn't make any sense being around you and are, that, that, are, that are not serving you any favor whatsoever the only thing that they do is appearing being a dead weight that you have to carry are no longer be present in your life they will start losing relevance in there and are no longer going to hold you back that is with the death card now of course this could uh, kind of like uh, manifest itself in a rather a bit unpleasant nature for example things you are i think you are holding on to very tightly say a relationship all right that you you alone see that there is no point moving forward with it but you are so used to it uh, and you don't want to let go of, you are going to have to throughout the month of uh, February. It is because this is how the death card operates. The death card it is when the fourth horseman of the apocalypse comes around and takes away what does not serve you any favor. So the new life can take place or in other words, so a new relationship can form from the ashes of the old one. And even more than that here, as the energy supporting the topic, we do have the justice card and uh, it's pretty very much those energies points that the change is kind of like inevitable it's it's unavoidable if you will uh, is because that is the uh, how the, how can I describe it here 
well, it will be stupid to say this because this is what is supposed to be, alright? But with the justice card, it's pretty much the, the justice law and order are in place, universal justice law and order, and you pretty much cannot avoid that. Now, on um, from another standpoint, the justice card plays a role that uh, everything that happens throughout the months of a uh, February for you, Virgo, it is results from a past actions past decisions you know etc etc so whatever goes away whatever is changing into your life it is because of you and it is because of your actions it is because of your decisions so if you don't like uh, what is forming in the month of February for you maybe you will have to make a certain retrospections for back in the days and see where you have adjudicated wrong you know or what kind of an actions you have taken that was a bit surreptitious nefarious etc etc uh, and lastly here for throughout the months um, <clears throat> It will be very important that you kind of organize yourself very well in a term of like time management, uh, priorities management and so on and so forth. So you can face this new opening or a new era, if you will, that the old gives uh, gives path to the new in your life with much more ease and you don't have a roller coaster effect where you know you're feeling kind of down in spirit up in spirit and so on and so forth but definitely throughout the months of february a lot of things are going to disappear in your life okay things that once again i'm repeating they do not serve you any favor and they are to be replaced with things that you can develop things that you can grow with uh, next one here, it is the challenges that you will have to stand and overcome. And we do have a, a person, <clears throat> Knights of Wounds. So that is someone who is quite enterprising and it is quite, how can I say it, a youthful in spirit. Obviously, they are very en energetic. The problem with these Knights of Wands is that they jump from one thing into another, quickly losing interest. For example, you are offering them something as an enterprise to perform together and they are finding it interesting at the start and they start doing things with you, you know, and you are kind of counting on them. So um, meets through, um, meets through pushing through this enterprise that person kind of loses interest in and is forlorning you out there so pretty much what we are talking about here it is someone that you can definitely cannot have a trust in someone that you cannot rely in whatsoever it is because they are completely driven by their own interests and yeah at certain portion throughout the month your interest and their interests can be uh how can i say it they can be the same interest okay but at some point that is going to split and the challenge here it is not to um over trust someone or not to bet all of your aces into a particular individual because you may be um disappointed you may be forlorn as a matter of fact with this card you most definitely are going to be forlorn and another thing with the knights of wands here as a challenge for you virgo it is that this is to be a, a bit of a stressful month i don't want to uh lie to you because with the death card there is always that bit of taste that uh, you know you are never gonna have the same thing twice you know in one's life say a relationship or say career here with the dead one things goes away and another takes its is takes its place so this new things that takes place to the old is not gonna be quite the same but it has a potential to be better okay and at some point those who are not that the, those that are that are not handling um changes very well they will definitely gonna need help and that is going to be also a challenge for you guys to ask for a help when you uh when you need it now next one here it is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy for throughout the month and that will be the star card so it's tightly related to the death one the star card it's kind of like quickly uh, the gift and the blessing it is the quick re uh, reveal the quick reveal 
of the potential of all those new things like new love or a, a new job that you're gonna take if the old one is to is to end not everything is gonna end in your life this is what I am want to this is something I want to stress in here just because we do have the death card it doesn't mean that your marriage is ending or it doesn't mean that your relationship is ending it could just take place as such that a, a project is ending and is going to be replaced by, uh, by a new one all right and our first odds are faced with skepticism by your behalf. Uh, <clears throat> the gift and the blessings points that you very quickly are going to understand the true potential of that project. And therefore, the turmoil of your emotions is going to be very rapidly sapped and rendered useless or rather like... Um, how can I say it? Futile, okay? And with that particular sense here, the blessings that we can say with uh, the star card that you are going to enjoy, it is if you allow yourself, you know, to look at it from the bright side here of life, it is that you can start enjoying unfolding love because this is something that the star card, it is uh, character, uh, characterized with, okay? Uh, something that you can look forward to in the long run uh, that is a, an endeavor or an enterprise all right high ideals and high standards so meaning that you can have a big expectations for what is to unfold from the new enterprise and new endeavor here or the many of them because they may be not just only one thing they could be many as well and uh, in generally hope for a better future which better future can definitely set sail here or set place so next one uh, for you virgo it is how people are gonna take on you and what kind of an impression you are gonna give into people and that was as we saw here the uh, empress card so people are gonna have a quite a big faith in you surprisingly okay so to me that reading kind of speaks that um even though unworthy, uh, inworthy, not unworthy, but inworthy, excuse me, you're going to feel a bit insecure. What is to follow now? You know, you're losing something, but you're gaining another thing that you don't know how it's going to unfold. So even though inworthy, you're going to feel insecure how to proceed from now on, what you should, do you uh, do you have to let go of something or do you not, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so pretty much insecure for the unforeseeable future here. People are going to find you quite... Mm, tamed in a sense of that very calm and very patient and someone with a uh, professional touch into everything that you are involved in even relationships what i mean here it is that even though the situation for you is to be a bit insecure that is not going to uh, deprive you from making plans for the long distant future this is how people are going to see you always prepared for the long distant future additionally to that people are going to see you as a person who does not rush decision making okay and that everything you have to every Every time, excuse me, that you have to make a, an important decision, you are withdrawing, you are taking your time, you know, so you, at the end of the day, you can make the most balanced and well-found, um, or to take the most balanced and well-found options available, so no one is left hurt, and at the end of the day, everybody has a results to reap from. And finally, with uh, the Empress card, uh, People are seeing you, um, that you are to think more for the rest than for yourself. So it's like, I don't know how to say it in English here, but it is more like you're ready to sacrifice more from yourself for the others than to do something for yourself. It is like the opposite of a um, egoism, okay? So it's kind of like the opposite of selfishness. I have to check the word, all right? But they are going to see you opposite of selfish. And that's a great thing. I mean, it's it's kind of like you will have the prerequisite here to attract more friends or more allies, you know, and more connections in general. So what you can do in order to uh, further your goal, what is going to improve your circumstances here throughout the month? Now, we do have the King of Wands. And the way I see it, that is an individual that is residing around you. You definitely know, know that person. And they are encouraging you that the best is still yet to come. It is because the King of Wands, they are solely, cons solely concerned 
by the ambition that can be achieved in the future. They do not concern with what could have been. They concern themselves only with what can be from now on. And, and they are seeing a uh, amazing, or that person is seeing an, an amazing potential into the circumstances that are not now forming through the death card, meaning, you know, things are ending in your life, but not just only, not this is not the only thing, that is only the half of the matter here, but also things are, uh, kind of, how can I say it? Um, th things are giving a birth or kind of like are born as well into your environment. Now, and instead of focusing on what you are losing here, that person uh, losing quotes in quantities because it's not a loss at all. It is just, you know, it is a borrowed time of a thing because it will serve you no favor whatsoever into the future. But here that person is encouraging you to stop thinking about what could, what could have been if you could have done a different decision making you know or if you could have done different actions back in the days but what you can make of the most out of the things that you are actually provoking to happen in your life at that particular stage and uh, from another standpoint with this person you're gonna have a lot of fun okay so that that is someone that you are going to kind of I have a quite of an, uh, a good time spent and uh, an exhilarating moment as well. This person will not allow you to uh, fall in spirit, meaning, you know, that to abate the levels of your spirit. So they are going to maintain your spiritual strength. And uh, the next one here, it is what is going to hurt your long term uh, goal. <clears throat> And that is pretty obvious with the Five of Wands. Now, Five of Wands is one of the cards pointing that you can reverse a, a fiasco, okay? This is one of those cards with the Five of Wands. Something is going bad or something is ending here and it gives you the option to reverse the, the, the course of it, to make it from a failure to success or from an ending to a, a stable situation. And that is what is going to deteriorate your circumstances, not because you are not going to sustain, saying a relationship that wants to end, but it is because once again, it's a, it, it's a, a borrowed time. It is just only going to consume of your life rather than giving you something in return, okay? For example, if the love is no longer there in between you and your sweeter, yes, with this card here, having it into a negative position, you can stow the relationship, but that love is, ne is never going to be revived, okay? And same thing with the job, yeah, you can stow um, walking away from your job, but you are never going to have a salary increase, promotion in that same job, you know, or improvement into the communications with the co-workers around. So whatever wants to walk away, you got to let it go. It's in this uh, month of February. And the last card, it is the guidance here for you, Virgo. That will be the King, uh, the Knights of Cups, excuse me. And so guidance-wise, Knights of Cups here points that the results that you are going to um, manifest from those new lives that are start sprinkling in your environment are entirely linked to the performance that you are going to make. Not to chance, not to universe, not to luck, but only to your solo performance. So what is asked here from you, it is to give everything you got if you want something to happen. And with the star card as a, um, as a gifts and blessings, uh, definitely at the end of the day, you're gonna be very, not just only happy, but as well, fulfilled, if you will, by the results of your future endeavors. So at the end, I want to uh, close the reading here with a, a quote um, from a, a very old book in term of tarot, which is the death card, uh, which is quoting the death card here. And it says that there is a, a time in life where, you know, we carry on a, a dead weight. And at certain points of our, of our path forward, you know, the faceless one or the death comes around and asks to take away what is already dead. And we have to ask ourselves at that point. And, and at this moment, you know, your time has come, Virgo, to liberate yourself from that dead weight. So you have to ask yourself what you can offer death. Okay. 
So that being said, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading, Virgo, February 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.